This is Blend Club for June 2023. The tobacco that we're going to be reviewing today is Lane 1Q. Let's see how it fares. All right, before we get started, every each time I like to kind of do a review of the tobacco and give you a bit of a little bit of information uh, that's provided by um, TobaccoReviews.com. Lane Limited 1Q. Basically a golden Cavendish blend, but with a hint of fire cured blended in, blended in provides scintillating taste and flavorful flavorful aroma. There's a note with this. Despite confusion caused by persistent rumor, 1Q is a Lane product and a Lane invention. Sold by many brick and mortar shops under many names, including Wilshire uh, by the Tinderbox stores. The brand is Lane Limited, blended by Lane Limited. Manufactured by Scandinavian Tobacco Group. The blend type is an aromatic. The contents are Cavendish and Virginia. The flavoring is vanilla. The cut is ribbon. The strength is mild. The flavoring is mild. The taste, again, is mild. And the room note is very pleasant. All right, so this one I got in bulk, so I'm not going to be doing an opening today. Uh, but I've, I've, I bought this, I think, in November. And again, uh, this is why I say that canning jars are the way to go. Because I purchased this in, I think, November, like I said. And it's just as moist as when I received it. Um, and again, the moisture lever here, the moisture level here is about perfect. Not too wet not too dry. Um, the coloring again is that the light flakes are the Virginia and the dark flakes are the Cavendish. Um, and then the flavoring is is put on top which is going to be vanilla. So let's take our nose and dip it in and see what we can smell. Okay, so I definitely smell the vanilla topping, but I can also make out the Cavendish. Cavendish has a certain scent to it that breaks through. A lot of times it'll break through any topping that you put on because of it's such a unique uh, scent. But it's very, it's an aromatic. It's very aromatic isk smelling. It's got that vanilla caramel uh, kind of uh, scent to it. So it's very pleasant. Very pleasant. Uh, it's a ribbon cut. But I don't know. I don't know how, about how yours looks. But mine is almost to the point where it could be considered a shag. It's real fine. Uh, it's a fine ribbon. Um, I don't know, I'd have a hard time not, if I saw it and no one told me that it was a ribbon, I'd have a hard time saying, no, 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 that, that looks more like a shag to me. But it's extremely finely cut uh, to be almost considered a shag. But um, it's, uh, it looks very well made and it looks like it's a, a, a very... Um, uh, very good product. Okay, so now <clears throat> I've already got my false light, so I'm just going to light it up and we're going to taste it and see what we think.
Mm. Lots of billowy smoke. Sweet, of course. That could be coming from the Virginia and the vanilla, I think. The Cavendish is sweet as well, so it's all around a pretty sweet blend. Got that caramel vanilla taste, more on more of a caramel taste. I think the the uh, Vanilla was added maybe to to turn that or to soften um, the caramel taste. Very smooth, very velvety. Very smooth, very, yeah, very, very smooth. Now, when I say smooth and velvety, I mean it's not sharp. It doesn't, it doesn't bite your tongue. It's, it's kind of a mellow kind of a feeling when you, when you, uh, when you taste, when you taste it. This blend has been around for ages, and like uh, like the description said, a lot of companies will purchase this, and they'll just rename it something else, um, which I can understand. One Q is not. I mean, that sounds more like a you know like a generic kind of name for it. So uh, if you've got if you got a tobacco shop you want to maybe embellish on the name a little bit better but I understand why this is carried why this is carried through throughout the states as a signature blend it's a perfect blend for those that are just starting out pipe smoking uh, gives you that sweet uh, sweet caramel um, taste that I think a lot of beginner pipe smokers are looking for. A lot of people could use this as a summer blend, um, which is perfectly fine. I mean, it's an all year blend, but yeah, I think it smokes better or kind of themes better with being a summer blend. Mm. Very delicious. Like I said, the, the caramel and the vanilla are driving the bus. There's not really any competition there. It sort of blends very well. So it's not not like anything can be uh, picked out. Um, but that's the way it is with all, most aromatics. What you're looking for in an aromatic, like I've said before, is you're looking for, does this tobacco reflect the name? Now, 1Q is not how can you reflect that name? But knowing what 1Q is, a vanilla caramel blend, uh, does it reflect that? And this definitely does. It'd be a good, good tobacco for an after dinner. You've had a really big, heavy dinner. 
and you don't really, you're not in the mood for a dessert. So you could fire this up and use this as a dessert blend as well. Hmm. Very good. All right, so now it's time for my rating. Uh, again, we'll go through this. Uh, when you rate this tobacco, I would prefer it if you put in the form of emojis, uh, anything that you want. It could even, you know, smiley faces or tombstones or whatever you want. Um, asterisks if you don't really know how to do emojis, whatever, question marks, doesn't matter. Uh, and then give a short synopsis of what you thought of the blend. Did you like it? Was it too wet, too dry? Uh, are you not really into aromatics? Uh, uh, you loved it. it's the best tobacco you've ever tasted uh, so uh, the, the rating is the way they go is one emojis is the worst tobacco you've ever tasted five being the best tobacco that you've ever tasted and you'll never smoke anything else again i'm just joking uh, but five is going to be uh, extremely good all right for my rating um, this is a good blend it's, it's, I mean, it's a staple in the, to, in the uh, pipe tobacco community. It's been around forever. It's gone, it's gone under several different names. Um, but it's, it's, a tobacco doesn't last this long if it's not this good. So uh, for me, uh, I'm giving it a four out of five. Because it is, it's very good. It's it's a very, like I said, a good dessert pipe tobacco, a good summer blend to use as you're walking the dog. If you're going to, uh, uh, you know, an event, let's say that they're, you know, the I can see people smoking this at at the county fair, uh, go to fairs or go to uh, Renaissance fairs, things things like that. This is a perfect blend for that. So there you go. It's four out of five for me. All right. Well, that's it for this month. Uh, next month, I think we're doing Elizabethan mi mixture. Uh, that is going to be a um, uh, a vapor, and I'll explain what that means when we get there. But uh, that's it for today or this for this month. Uh, I just want to wish that every tobacco that you smoke is a sweet one.